Good morning, everybody. Today in this video, we're talking about the number one, in my opinion, the number one money affirmation. I've been talking about affirmations in previous videos. By all means, just know before I get into what I believe is the number one affirmation, know that I'm here for you, know that your life matters, know that you do have a voice, know that you are worthy, you are enough, you are loved. I'm here for you. If there's anything I can possibly do for you, I'm one click away in the DMs. Even if it's an idea that you wanna share or somebody you need to talk to or a connection you think I might be able to help you make. So, the affirmations, this comes from Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. I've been absorbing his information lately. I've been all about Napoleon Hill the last couple, or actually the last couple days, I would say, the last couple weeks. And, um, you know, he puts it, in terms of auto suggestion, the way we talk to ourselves. So these positive affirmations, you know, essentially can seep into our subconscious mind and basically take control and change the way we think. As we all know, thoughts are things and these positive affirmations have been serving me. I find the best time to do positive affirmations are early in the morning when you're first waking up and right before you go to bed. So if you wanna get your hands on a copy of the affirmation, send me a DM, I'll gladly send this to you. What I did was print this out and I took it over to the local UPS store and got it laminated. So it makes it kind of more permanent, can't get wrinkled, I keep it right by my bed stand and this is kind of what I'm putting in between my ears every single night before I go to bed. What I believe is the number one money affirmation is this one. I bless wealth and all the people that have it. I bless wealth and all the people that have it. I think the number one thing that holds people back is shaming people that have money, shaming people that have wealth. It is very common, the conditioning and programming that's out there to basically, you know, consider money evil. Money's the root of all evil. If somebody has money, oh, they must be bad, they must be shady, they must be doing something wrong. That is very negative conditioning and programming. I will let you know. I was conditioned and programmed to think this way as well. It's not just you, there's nothing wrong with you. This is not a character flaw. This is just conditioning and programming. We must bless wealth and all the people that have it and really absorb that, absorb that and really feel that because our subconscious mind will not allow us to attract things into our life that we feel is bad or evil. We must instead bless wealth bless all the people that have it. When you see somebody who has a lot of money, bless them. God bless them. That's the best thing, the best response you possibly could do. Bless wealth and all the people that have it. This way you are vibrating at a frequency of receiving wealth. So you are not shaming people that have wealth. You're not condemning people that have wealth because you will never be able to attract into your life something that you think is shameful or worth condemning. So as always, I bless wealth and all the people that have it. I bless wealth and all the people that have it. Let's get this going in our conscious mind and get our subconscious mind to absorb that. Hit me up if you want more affirmations. This is just what I've been into. I'm doing this for the rest of my life though, everybody. I don't care if you hit me up today or hit me up 100 years from now. I'm doing these affirmations forever because um, this is how life works. This is how manifestation works. Um, it's the way we talk to ourselves. So we might as well be talking to ourselves with positive affirmations. Let's make it a great day and I'll see you soon.